you ever been slapped across the face with a trade before? Because that's exactly what happened last night, when the Philadelphia Flyers traded Cutter Gauthier to Anaheim in exchange for Jamie Drysdale and a second round pick. Not only did it shock everybody, but nobody would expect the drama that followed. Nope. Because immediately after the trade, it was made public that Gauthier, he didn't want to be a flyer. After appearing to be excited at the 2022 draft, Philadelphia's precious fifth overall pick would turn his back on the organization shortly after. So I guess the real question that everybody wants answered right now is why? Was it torts? No, it can't be. Sure, Torts might have compared him to a hole in a wall, but that was after the deal. Maybe it was Kevin Hayes. No, and if you just so happen to be one of the idiots that's been harassing him, then I hope somebody pisses in your favorite pair of shoes. But, according to our favorite caveman, Elliot Freed, he believes he might have the answer. Well, at least it might be one of the dominoes. According to Friedman's sources, Gauthier wanted to turn pro and start his career this season, but due to cap issues, the Flyers just couldn't make it happen, resulting in all the drama that followed. There's actually been some reports that Briere has been trying to make a Gauthier trade for quite some time now. In fact, Charlie O'Connor made a tweet last night that would shock not only Flyers fans, no, but Habs fans as well saying quote i heard a rumor that they quietly shopped gochie back at the draft and it was one of the things i was chasing today i can confirm now yes gochie was shopped they tried to swap him for the number five pick presumably to take david reinbacker and also ensure Michkov would be available later as well montreal of course passed <laughs> What a bombshell, man. Now, I know this is going to chap the asses of a lot of Habs fans, but in reality, we don't really know if Gauthier would actually want to play in a Canadian market anyway. Seems like he's a bit of a control freak already, but whatever the case may be, he's a duck now. History has been made, and the people of Philadelphia, man, they are going to treat him worse than Ivan Drago. He's public enemy number one right now, and the far only continues to grow. <laughs> Now, in the background of all this, Jamie Drysdale is actually a really nice return, especially when you take into consideration that Briere was dealing from a, a position of weakness. He had a player that wanted out. Drysdale is only 21 years old, and if he can stop falling down flights of stairs and stuff, you know, and stop getting injured, he might just make Flyers fans forget about all of this. Who knows? But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. How do you feel about Gauthier requesting a trade before he even signed his first pro contract? Also, let me know how you feel about the supposed trade proposal between the Flyers and the Habs at the draft. I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to smash up the like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.